What we get from Stat Sports in terms of our GPS stuff is actually really, really beneficial for us as, as coaches. Um, so mainly for us to be able to track uh, the player loading um, in particular. So you know, as coaches, we're trying to identify what sort of weekly load we'll go into and what the training might look like. Um, and it also just sort of helps us mimic what it would be like for the players in a, in a game environment as well, which has really been a beneficial for us as, as coaches. But then also the players really love to see it as well. The good thing about it is you can't hide when you're wearing it. So are you hitting your markers? Are you running your, your speed enough? Are you actually running enough when you're out on the pitch? Um, so one of those things that the players always like to get is all the all the data that's been given to given to them and what they're trying to do. And they always who ran the furthest, who did the highest speed, all that kind of stuff. So they have a bit of bit of fun with it as well. But it's just a really good gauge for the for the athletes to know how much um, they were putting into the game. And then you know, like it might be different when you play Australia to when you play um, Chile, for example. So Australian game might, meters might be up through the roof, speed might be up through the because that's the style of game Australia play and then it also might come down when you play someone like Chile who would be a bit more defensive and things like that so that side of it as well is really good learning. As a physio working in sport the way that I use stat sport to inform my work probably has two facets so one of which we're looking at it for a proactive lens and because we collect ongoing objective data about the players uh, we can look for trends we can look for accumulative load and then we can look for any spikes in load and if we can identify that there's been a spike in load, we might use this to um, chat to the coach about potentially modifying um, their load for that week um, in an attempt to mitigate the risk of injury. But this is sport and injuries do happen. And um, we, because we store historic data on the players, we can use it to extrapolate um, the metrics. And then we would use it as bench line markers um, when I'm creating their return to play plans. So for instance, if we've got their top end acceleration stored, we can look for and track how the player's getting on and then objectively make a decision on when the player's ready to return to the turf. From, from when I first started playing, it's been a little bit different. They were sort of um, dinosaur-sized um, pieces, but now they're actually really, really sleek. Um, you know, when you're playing with them, you don't really notice that they're in the back of your shirt. So shirts come with the, the little pocket in the back. Uh, they sit in there for, for trainings and games, um, and then also you can have the, the GPS bib um, that you can wear as well. So it's all, all pretty um, sleek and sort of uh, intuitive stuff that actually really, really benefits um, what we're trying to do as, um, as coaches. And then the beauty of it is there's a lot of live information you can have as well. So you can, you know, the SNC or the trainer or us as coaches can have GPS running live um, during the training session, and then we can kind of assess if we're hitting our markers and if players are actually getting up to speed when we would need them to be. Um, the other part as well is it can be really beneficial for in-game um, if we want to go that far as well. So, you know, sometimes you might think that a, an athlete might be, you know, pushing the barrier out too far and then you could actually bring them off, which actually can be a really, really good thing for, you know, injury maintenance and all that kind of stuff as well. So GPS has a massive role to play in what we do at, um, at Top End Sport.